Okay, hello everyone, um, and welcome to Minecraft, um, as many of you will know by the style. Um, first up, I'm using the Sfax texture pack um, for Minecraft, and if you're wondering why I am looking at the well, then that's a good point. The um, reason I'm doing this is because this is um, a world that me and my friend, who you'll know as, as A1 Thomas from World of Tanks, my regular platoon mate, um, me and him have got this Minecraft world that we've been working on for a while. It it was started out as us doing challenges, you know, we would have to, you know, build yeah, a mansion, say, and then we would both rate each other's and give them evaluations based on, you know, what we thought of them and then you know it was just a fun little thing like that. And um we started up a flat grass world and well this was the spawning area. Um so we built a well up well, my friend did. Um, I added in the water, and below here you've got loads of chests with uh, the various challenges, you know, self-build and get-together build um, for the larger items like airports and schools and things. Um, and if you're wondering why is Minecraft running at such a low frames per second, it's because I'm recording. Um, normally it would be, you know, high frames per second, however, recording takes down the frames per second because it uses more power, obviously, um, for you know, recording purposes. Um, so that's why it's actually um, in not very good frames per second, because it's because I'm recording. Um, so, yeah, this is a little world that we had. Um, he built the well, I built this road around it. Um, we decided to show show which side is which. So telling what his side is um, and telling which side is mine I decided to use the colors that I've been working with for a while now whenever I was you know wanting to build something fancy or anything which was um, quartz blocks and also redstone blocks and I also had a different color scheme which was redstone blocks and dark prismarine um, and I decided that his colors would be um, lapis blocks and um, quartz again so yeah, and then he also uses things like wood, birch wood, things like that, um, stone, various other things. Um, but I stuck with my regular colours for the most part. And um, we settled on two different themes. I'd been playing a lot of Fallout at that point, so I was sort of into the whole retro-futuristic sort of style. So I decided to do mine in the 50s. So, 50s sort of style. He went for the modern one with, you know, flat-screen TVs. I have the big boxy TVs with, you know, the big boxy computers, things like that. Um, and he's obviously gone with the modern thing, so, you know, modern tech, things like that. So, starting off with, I'll go over my side of the line, and then I'll go over his side of the line, um, and you can see exactly how we did things differently, things like that. So, if you're wondering, first up, why this tree has been half rendered in, that's because that's how it was when we loaded the world. There are several other trees. Um, there's a couple over there which I fenced off, there's one right there. And so, why I did over my side of the line is that any tree that had been half generated I would just put a fence around it because why not and um, because there was this thing right at the spawn I decided that I would spawn some animals in and I would put give them the special name tags so things for example dinner bone which many Minecraft mm. players will know flips animals on their heads um, and they walk around like that and then you've got to uh, toast the rabbit and um, that gives the rabbit a special uh, coat, if you name it Toast, because of some developer's girlfriend, I think, had a rabbit that died or ran away, I'm not too sure. Um, mm. And then you've also got Jeb underscore, which if you apply it to the sheep, a sheep will change multicolors. As you can see, it's changing rainbow. And um, before that, you actually have to have a lowercase j, and I didn't know that. I thought you could have capital J, E-B underscore. But no, it has to be lowercase. And so I originally named this sheep, capital J, Eb underscore. And that didn't work. And then when I realised my mistake, that it actually has to be lowercase j, I thought, I don't really want to kill this brown sheep, and so I just named it fake jeb underscore instead. Um, so there's that. And um, this leads up to, well, the first building, which I'll go to, which is the research facility, which I made. Um, there you go, the Hudendorf Research and Development System, um, or facility even. And he's got his own one over there. Basically, everything on one side of the line has been built on the other side of the line, but in our two different styles. So there's his one, and, well, I, you get the idea. So, as you can see, here's my side of the line. The, uh, oh, 
there you go, the red and dark quartz block are these ones, and the blue and white one is his side of the line. So this is his side, this is my side. And I actually came up with the idea of having this notice board here. It originally started out as a 3x3 three three, um, as a 3x3 three three square, and I just had maps in item frames, because when you put a map in an item frame, it takes up the entire block so that you can see it better and make maps, which is what I did. So here's the map of how it is. This isn't actually... Um, this isn't uh, the most updated version of the world. There's actually a, a train line which runs down to two other cities, sort of one over here at the map, one over there. Um, and there's also some various other bits and pieces, like something up the top of the map, which um, isn't on this one because it's not the most updated version. Um, and also a couple of things and some buildings have changed. But mostly it's to do with the entire rest of the map, <laughs> which which we're missing because I don't actually have the, most, uh, the latest... Um, version of the world, because my friend hasn't sent it to me, because I know why. Um, but anyway, enough of the map, um, so that's why it's over my side of the line, because I came up with it and I put it there. Um, so, yes, into the Hudendorf Research and Development Facility. Uh, double iron doors, you'd come in here, there'd be two guards here. Um, using the Sfax texture pack, the levers aren't actually the single stick pull lever, they're actually these um, sort of grab and pull levers like in Call of Duty Zombies, um, but without Sfax, the um, lever would be a single stick up and that, and I put it there to act like a microphone, so that there would be speakers up here, which would allow you to talk to the person, the person, you know, say, can you please show me your ID, they'd then show the security guard the ID, and the security guard would open the door, which is why there's random buttons there. Um, not going to go in, here, in the actual room, because it's basic. Um, and then here is the main reception area, so as you can see it's a sort of domed structure um, with lights hanging down from the ceilings and um, you've also got three different um, colours here on the floor. Um, the iron one leads off to armour research and development, the um, diamond one leads off to the weapons research and development and the gold one leads off to the special weapons and um, you know vehicle weapons things like that so you've got a basic sort of circle reception area um, you would have computer screens up here but of course it's a bit difficult to make computers in Minecraft so but there would be computers there with you know keyboards and things and then you've got sort of the main announcement um, announcement area well this lever would be again a stick one and it would be um, and it would be the microphone to actually broadcast, you know, so that you can say, can employee, blah, 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 or whatever, come to reception, or whatever. Um, and, of course, there's a nice computer here. Um, keyboard, there's the big boxy back, because, of course, I am working with the 50s style, so that would be the big boxy computer bit at the back. And then a picture to act like the screen, because, why not? So, leading off to the armor research and development, uh, you've got these big blast doors, which would uh, raise up or shift to the side or something, and then in here... You've got um, the bit where the scientists and their lab coats would be. Um, once again, another um, microphone there. A computer here to log the findings with a seat. Um, there would be an iron door here, and you would press the button, and it would open up um, the door to let the uh, tester into the armor. This particular one, uh, well, this particular room, is um, developing blast-proof armor. This is... Um, Blast Proof Mark 7 armor. Um, as you can see, the Blast Suit Mark 7 with um, Explosion Resistance 4 and Unbreaking 3. So, yeah, that's like the maximum armor, the maximum tier armor. So, there's that. Um, and, you know, there would be an iron door here. They'd go in here. The explosions would be set off, blah, 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 whatever. Or they would place the armor in there. The explosions would be blah, blah, blah. And then findings would be recorded and they could develop the, the uh, armor some more and so of course this one over here this is um uh what is it shot absorbs shot absorption suit um mark four because it's iron um and that is um that has of course yeah what is it uh, I've forgotten the enchantment for it. I would look, but it's in German. Um, don't worry about my Minecraft being in German. Um, I just decided to do that. It's a sort of subliminal way of learning German, sort of, because you've got Stein. You know, I, I know that 
rock it, that um, stone is now called Stein, and you've got earth is Erd, you know, things like that. Glowstone is, not glowstone, Schwarzeichenholztrepp is, um, is dark oak with steps, <laughs> I know that much. Um, you've got Wall, uh, yeah, things like that. But, um, yeah, so the basic overview of this is, um, yeah, for developing armors. That's that's the main focus of that wing. Um, then you've got this wing, which uh, develops the weapons. Um, and once again, more blast doors. You come in here, same layout. There's a um, there's a uh, iron door. You've then got a um, bow there, and you've got a target, which they would shoot, and you develop the weapon. Um, don't worry about the Illuminati um, sign on there. It's a painting, so it randomly shows up things. Um, Definitely not Illuminati, because um, there aren't any triangles in Minecraft apart from that one. Ah, oh, Illuminati. No. Um, but if you're wondering why the rooms are so small, then I'll show you when when I've finished um, actually showing it around. So, the same sort of thing is in every room for the weapon testing. You've got a um, you've got a target. You've got the bit where the scientists would record things with the microphone, and you've also got a um, item frame so that the tester could take the weapon. Um, and then we come to the vehicle weapon development wing, or, you know, this is sort of the oddball wing. So you've got two identical sort of things with a long corridor down. So in here, I've got a section of uh, one of my aircraft wings, because I made my own aircraft in Minecraft, because why not? Um, and this has got a, a small radioactive warhead on the end of a missile. Um, don't worry about the fact that these things are, well, a weird sort of... <laughs> Don't mind that the that the missile has actually got a funny sort of look to it, but iron bars is the best I could do. Um, but so it's got a small warhead on the front, then you've got um, the missile, and then you've got the propulsion mechanism at the end there. And uh, the wing is being held up by anvils, which are in place of struts. So, um, and so the warhead would be fired; it would go into the um, obsidian box and explode. And the scientists in here would record the findings. So there we go. I got in. So. In here, you've got a computer, you've got a um, seat, you've also got, you know, your Minecraft for setting up your Minecraft, sorry, your um, microphone for setting off the, um, for you know, telling people to get inside. Now, you've also got your other one, your other lever for actually setting off the warhead, the missile, like that, and then you've got random buttons as well because you know, you have to make it look like they're doing something, so just put random buttons there. So. Yeah, and so you've got the redstone trail coming along here, up the steps there, and to the dispenser. Yeah, the dispenser. Oh, no, it's a, um oven, is it? Yeah, it's an oven. Um, yeah, so your furnace, into your furnace, and um, it fires off. So, that's the basics of my, um, of my uh, research facility. Um, yeah, yeah, not much. And if you're wondering why it's so small, why the... Um, yeah, because these bits are the actual development areas. If you're wondering why it's so small, it's because there's a shop right there, a school. You've got a tank um, repair shop right there, then you've got this. You've got a, um ex-military dealer over there. You've also got... Um, that is a restaurant. You've got a... Um, now, what is it? Car mechanics thing over there. Plus, you've then got a house. So I've sort of boxed myself in here because it's, like, right in the centre of town. But So, yeah, there's the... Um, has my development center, my research facility, um, and if we go over here, you've got um, a road here because I decided to build some roads because one of the challenges that we had was to make a car dealership, so yeah, there's that. If you're wondering what my skin is, it's something that I found on Planet Minecraft, and it's a T-51B power armor suit um, because, you know, Fallout in Minecraft is... why not? But anyway, so coming along here, I decided that this is a nice stretch of road, we may as well build build a um, a restaurant here, which, which, you know, as I was building it, I was like, maybe I shouldn't have done this because, well, <laughs> it's it's like right next to the weapons development wing, so you're going to have random explosions going off if they're actually working during hours for the development um, for the research facility. But um, So here is my restaurant, as you can see, nice dark oak wood flooring. You've got uh, lighting in the floor there. You've got various sized tables, um, so you've got a table for four there, yeah, a couple of tables for two, one there, such as, one there. You've got a large table for eight here, you know, you've got a table for eight here, but in a circle area. 
Um, so this is so you know the the um, guests, I suppose you could call them the customers, will come in. They'd be shown to a table. Um, you've got a bar area over here, which is made up of anvils, um, and then you've also got um, you've also got um, white carpet here because otherwise, if you walk into um, anvils, they they used to glitch out, but now with the auto jump feature, they they don't anymore. But anyway, so there's that. Um, you come up here. These are supposed to be like kegs of beer, so you would beers with taps here. Even though these um, these are the um, trapdoor hooks or whatever they are for um, trip uh, trip wire hooks. That's them. So that's to act like um, the pull lever to actually get the beer out of the keg. So yeah, just a basic block of wood um, with that on make, gives it the effect. Then you got loads of tables around. They need to go to the toilet, and um, there are multiple gender toilets here. Cubicles, um, only three cubicles because that's all the all the space that I had. Well, I could expand it, but I didn't want to. So then you've got um, nice black and white tiled flooring coming along here. You've got the toilet. Don't fall in there because why well, it's a toilet. So you've got the um, flush you know, right there, then you've got the uh, trap door to open and close the toilet, yeah. and then you've got the cubicle dividers. Yeah, basic toilet. Um, so, you, you know, you've got some nice windows out the front so that you can look out. Um, then coming along here, this is the kitchen with, the ni again, a nice flooring there. You've got um, various lighting. This one isn't on for some reason. There we go. Um, so yeah, you got various ovens and bits for ingredients and you know, chests for ingredients and um, yeah, various things for uh, preparing the food for the customers. So yeah, and this is pretty much my restaurant. Um, so yeah, as you can see, all built in the same style. They've, you've got um, this um, redstone block skirting board with. Um, quartz walling. Um, you've got some nice pillars outside to make it look high class. Um, because that was actually that was actually one of the specifications of it because um, we use books to determine what challenges they are. And so the books are named with what challenge it is and the book was specifically named high class restaurant. So to make it high class using, you know, dark oak wood or Svorjaiken Holzbreiter wood, um, along with along with some nice pillars and things. So Coming along here, we'll go uh, this way, so heading down to uh, over here, and then we'll head back up and down that way along the line, and then we'll head outwards um, towards the outskirts of the city. So, come along here. This is the first house that I built um, in this world, valuated 4.5 million nano blocks, which is the currency that we decided to use, and um, it's changed hands a couple of times um, because it was my first house, then I built it to how I would like to live in it. So. I originally bought it, and then I sold it to buy one Thomas, and so he's now bought it. Um, so coming in here, you've got a nice, um, nice white uh, entrance hallway, brightly lit, of course, with um, the skirting board again of um, redstone block along with dark prismarine walls. So coming in this way, you've got um, a large TV, because, you know, why not? I, I hadn't actually decided on a 50s Fallout theme at this point with this house, which is why there's a big flat screen TV here, but uh, um, so yeah, you got various, yeah, a couple of sofas there to actually look at the look at the screen, so yeah, there's that. Um, there we go. So coming in here to the bathroom, as you can see, you've got a sink with a tap, a single tap. It's one of those taps where you uh, twist it either, either side of the um, of the spout in order to actually change how hot or cold it is, um, and then you lift up the um, handle in order to actually make the water come out. It's weird. I, I have some at work. Well, we have some at work in our toilet, so yeah. It's those things, if you know what I'm talking about. Then you've got the toilet in here, lit up, because why not? Um, and then you've also got a nice bath. There we go. Two, two, uh, two deep baths so that you can drown yourself, because why not? Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, I've actually messed up this a bit, as you can see, because this shouldn't be a, a long line of um, of um, black stained clay, but oh well. So 
coming out the bathroom, you've got um, this area, which is well, it, it's basically just the stairs. However, you could you could use this as storage or something. Yeah, I have some chests in there. Why not? So. Coming in here, this is a, a single unbroken room. As you can see, I didn't actually put a divider in here, um, like I did with the uh, bathroom and living room. So you've got um, the table for eating, because what else are you going to use a table for? And then you've got um, your kitchen. It's a nice big kitchen. You've got a fridge. You've got um, crafting tables for preparing food. You've got a um, counter. You've got storage underneath that. Um, a gros tru, a large chest. And then you've got some... Uh, some ovens under there, um, or well, furnaces, to give it the proper Minecraft name. So coming upstairs, basically all that's upstairs are, you know, bar, uh, bedrooms. But um, just a quick note: I I used um, chiselled quartz blocks to to give the ceiling a nice texture, um, which is why you've got two different types of um, of quartz there, because you know that's the um, floor for this floor and then this is the ceiling for this floor so yeah but anyway so coming up here you've got the boy bedroom um, so you know the kids bedroom one of the kids bedroom or whatever um, could just be a, de a guest bedroom but so yeah you've got a large chest two single beds you know some nice blue flooring to make it you know boy like um, why not um, so coming in here you've just got various bunk beds six people can fit in here so if you were to have like a massive family or if you were just having a sleepover with lots of people then sure thing you could probably actually rent out various rooms in this house as lodgings so yeah but coming along here you've got um another bedroom i don't think that's the yes i think this was the parents bedroom um this used to have pink and red um sort of um, checkered flooring or well, carpentering even um, because you know it's the parents bedroom so they're gonna they're gonna want to do their thing with um, a nice red and pink romantic carpet I don't know that, that that was my thinking for it but anyone Thomas when he bought it he 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 just wants a triple white bed for some reason so that, there you go he he changed the beds and he also changed the carpet um, so yeah there's that um, then you've got this other bedroom, which is a uh, simple blue and red um, checkered um, carpet with um, a double bed and two bedside tables. Then I actually put a chest in here. I forgot. Oh well. Um, I'm not going to change it because when I get the updated world, this will, this will all go out the window anyway. But so there you go. Here, it, this was the first house that I built um, on this world. Um, and I think I'll leave this episode here. I've sort of given you an introduction to the world. We still have various things to look at, such as spaceships and planes, but yeah, they'll be later on. Um, but, so, yeah, this is just me giving a tour of um, probably our most developed world. One, yeah, probably the most. There is another one which we've highly developed, but this one is slightly more, slightly more developed, because this one has big planes and things. But, yes, so, um, once again, I'm... Sorry for the bad frame rate, but if I wasn't recording, I would get a good frame rate, but then you couldn't see it because I wasn't recording, so yeah. But um, so next time we'll continue heading on down the line, um, and I'll show you some more of the world, so thank you for watching, and goodbye.